Welcome to Access Practice 1. To begin, start Access. In the Search for Online Templates box, type Students and then press Enter. If you receive an error message, ensure you are connected to the Internet. Select the Students Template Database and name the database, your last name, underscore your first name, underscore access, underscore practice, underscore one. Click the folder icon next to the file name to save the database on your flash drive or other safe location. After you name the database, click Create. Access is different from other software since you must give the file a name before you start entering information. It may take a few moments for the database to load. If a welcome window opens, you can close this. If a yellow bar displays across the top of the database, select Enable Content. Once the database is open, take a moment to view the database window. In the navigation pane, click the shutter bar once to close the navigation pane. Click it again to open it. The shutter bar looks like two arrows pointing to the left on the navigation bar. In the navigation pane, click the downward pointing arrow next to All Access Objects. Ensure Object Type and All Access Objects are checked. Notice how the student list is the current open access object. On the Home tab, in the Views group, choose the arrow below Views. Notice how Form View is selected. Change the view to Layout View and notice the change in the object window. Then, change the view to Design View and notice the change in the object window. Return View to Form View. Close the Student List form by clicking the X in the object window. Take care not to close the entire database, rather only close the open object. The database window should be empty. From the navigation pane, under Tables, double-click the Students table. On the Home tab, in the Views group, click the arrow under View. Notice how the table opened in Datasheet view. Ensure you are on the Fields tab under Table Tools. The ID Field Name has Auto Number as the data type. This means that the ID will be automatically assigned and you do not have the option to type it in. The last name field has a data type of short text, so you can enter a value here. Under last name, type in your last name and then press tab. In the first name field, type your first name and press tab. Continue to enter data for the email address and student ID. You can make up data for these values. Notice how Level is a drop-down box. On the Home tab, in the Views group, change the Table view to Design view. Notice the field names and data types. These are two required attributes to add a new field. Close the Student table. Notice how a warning to Save did not pop up. Changes to Tables in Access save automatically. Double-click the Students table to open it and view the data you have just entered. Then. Close the table. From the navigation pane under Queries, double click the student's extended query to run it. The query opens in Datasheet view and displays the query results. You should see the record you added on the student's table. On the Home tab in the Views group, change the view of the table to Design view. Notice the student's table in the upper portion and the query grid with fields in the bottom section. Close the student's extended table. From the navigation pane under Forms, double-click the student list form to open it. Notice how it opens in Form view. You should see the record you added to the student's table. Under the First Name field, to the left of New, Enter data for first name, last name, and email. You can enter any data. On the Home tab, in the Views group, change the view of the form to Layout view. Notice the changes in the object window. Then, change the view to Design view and notice the changes in the object window. Close the Students List object. From the Navigation pane under Reports, double-click the All Students report to run it you should see the two student records you added. On the Home tab, in the Views group, change the view of the report to Print Preview. Notice how changes in the report cannot be made in this view. Click the red X to close Print Preview 
and return to Report View. Change the view of the report to Layout View. Notice how if a field is selected, you can move it and rearrange it within the report. Change the view of the report to Design View. This is also known as Developer's View because it is a, the most powerful view. Anything can be modified in this view. Close the report without saving changes if prompted. To exit out of the database, first close any database objects that are open. It is good database practice to only have one database object open at a time. Select the File tab and take note of where your database is saved. Then select Close. Ensure your database is saved in your Access folder. Then exit out of Access. Submit your entire database for grading per your instructor's instructions. I hope this video has helped you to complete this project. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your instructor. They're here to help.